guys, it's me Seren, back with another car video. So, I was initially gonna film like a whole like cute little sit down video on this topic, but then motherfucking Gina Rodriguez, everybody's favorite resident non-black fucking person of color, Latinx bitch that hates black women and hates black people and is always talking trash, decided she needs to open her mouth up yet again with some racist nonsense and so you guys are getting a car video on this topic of black culture as i'll put it like this blackness and especially like black americanness as um culture that is not necessarily related to race as uh, something that has somehow transcended race um i've been thinking about this for a really really long time ever since i made my video on um political blackness which is the use of blackness as this kind of political tool right like well i've suffered and i've been discriminated against and i felt oppression so that makes me black you know like black in a political type of sense you know like black in theory like not racial um and i feel like when it comes to culture and elements of culture this same exact thing kind of happens this idea of like well to be black isn't just race racial right like it's like it's not just a racial thing like oh i might be you know i'm not black racially but i'm quote unquote black culturally or again i'm quote unquote black politically so i kind of have this leeway to like say and do all these things as it relates to gina rodriguez this bitch has been caught saying anti-black shit more than once on numerous occasions right like there was a time that the interviewer asked yara shahidi how does she feel about being like a positive role model for black girls and here come gina rodriguez with the hashtag all lives matter all girls matter right like well, well, I wanted to know how she... She's black, so I wanted to know how she felt about being a role model for black girls. Like, why does that fucking bother you? Like, there was another time when they were talking about the pay gap, and she incorrectly said that black women and black actresses make more than Latino women and Latina actresses, which, number one, is bullshit. It's not true. Like, black women don't make more than Latina actresses. And number two, she also managed to erase all of the black women that are also Latinx. Like, she just, like has an issue with black women like anytime black women say or do anything she's always well what about what about what about what about what about latina girls what about latina like she's that that annoying anti-black racist ass bitch and then it happened so many times that people continue to call her out on her anti-black bullshit like you obviously have a problem with black people and black women in particular and then she saw fit to trot out her beige uh clear looking father talking about when well, my father is afro latino which this seems to be the new go-to for uh racist non-black uh people of color and especially latinx bitches that get caught in some racist shit is to be like well actually let me pull this rabbit out of a hat let me pull this excuse out of my back pocket i'm afro latinx actually like no no bitch you're not right i'm tired ever since the motherfucking non-black latinx motherfuckers learned about afro latino as a concept that has become their fucking ace in the hole 19 generations ago i may possibly have had a black motherfucker in my family so that means i'm afro latino and i can get away with saying all this racist shit like number one no that's not how it works bitch number one you are a non-black person of color afro latino does not mean you possibly maybe have some fucking african blood in you somewhere bitch like that's not even how this shit motherfucking works okay and i do find it to be extremely offensive to the actual people like motherfucking gina torres who's my baby who in my last gina rodriguez is a motherfucking racist video i accidentally said her name gina torres is somebody that has always been extremely vocal about being black and about being a black latina and about being a visibly black latina in a racist ass motherfucking culture and how that feels and how that works and how that has affected her job as an actress and getting roles and all these things all these people that are just using this shit as an excuse now for the racist shit that they say i find it to be pretty fucking offensive right so what happened with fucking gina rodriguez was she posted on her instagram stories a video of her getting her hair done listening to motherfucking the fujis and she's just like real casually slip nigga in there niggas give me heebie jeebies right lauren hill and people were like whoa bitch whoa what the fuck number one the fuck is wrong 
wrong with this bitch, right? You are in hot water every other fucking week for saying some shit about black people, for fucking saying not not just like some ignorant shit about black people, but some actual anti-black racist shit. And before you trotted out your father to try to say I can fucking uh, oh what, whatever I can say whatever I want that's anti-black. Something that she also said was well i hate it when people call me anti-black because growing up there weren't a lot of there weren't a lot of latino shows on television there was no latino representation so i latched on to the black shows because you know i'm from an urban you know environment inner city whatever so i felt like those shows represented me again now we're getting to this concept of blackness as not race like you know and I don't know how she can come out talking about some, oh, actually, ha, 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 wink, wink, nudge, nudge, I am black. Because when she gave that quote, like, you very clearly don't see yourself as black. Because you very clearly made, like, the specificity of being, like, there were no Latino shows on, so I had to relate to the black shit by default. Because, like, I was fucking urban or whatever. And so, like, seeing these, like, quote-unquote urban motherfuckers made me feel, you know represented made me feel seen and then she was like you know so I, I always related to like black culture and I always considered that to be family so when people say I'm anti-black they're saying that I'm anti my family like that's a lot of fucking words like that's a motherfucking word soup that basically boils down to people think that just because again they grow up in a city that just because they grow up quote unquote in the hood that just because they fucking grow up in new york we were just talking about this in discord the number of fucking non-black people and especially like again latinx people non-black persons of color in new york that fucking think it is okay to say nigga i know this is also a huge problem um in california in southern california as well as in northern california with like southeast asian populations and like filipinos and shit like that thinking they could say nigga 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 this nigga that and then being like well i grew up in the hood or i grew up in the city i grew up urban i grew up around black people i grew up in the neighborhood i grew up listening to the music i, I grew up doing this and doing that you know feeling like oh i grew up in the culture so even though i'm not black it gives me a pass to use what is a racial epithet not a cultural epithet a racial one right I have the right to use this racial epithet even though I'm not of that race because I feel like I'm of the culture because blackness is not race, it's culture, it's cultural, right? This is also something that I felt was related to Fat Joe who also came under fucking fire, got in hot water for saying the N-word and I believe he also used some, um, sorry, I'm going over, uh, I got these words, I'm going over, I don't even know what the hell's going on. They're like directing us where to go and the road is like all fucked up. So, but this is also related back to Fat Joe, who a lot of people were requesting me to make a video on, um, cause he, I want to say, used like some African imagery in a video, and he also says the N-word regularly, and he had all these people fucking go to bat for him, including Remy Ma, who were like, well, he's from New York, I know him, I know his family, I knew he grew up in a culture, I knew he didn't mean any disrespect, so it's fine. Just because you grew up in New York... Just because you have a lot of black friends, just because you grew up, quote unquote, in the hood, urban, fucking, annoying ass, Belcalis Almanzar also likes to use this as an excuse. Anytime anybody asks her, like, straight up, like, bitch, are you motherfucking black? The first thing Belcalis likes to say is, I'm from the hood. I'm from New York. I'm from New York. I'm from the Bronx. Okay, we said, are you black? Nobody asks where you from, like... Nobody asks fucking what city you're from, what hood you're from, what set you rep. But people associate all of these things, again, be it politics, be it, oh, I'm oppressed, I've been oppressed, be it, oh, I grew up in the culture, or oh, I'm ghetto, or oh, I'm from the hood, or oh, I'm this, I'm that. They, they fucking associate all these things that are not actually related to race with blackness. And they sort of come up with this definition of blackness in their heads that like oh it's not a it's not a racial thing so i can say it i can do it i can be a part of it it's totally fine because i feel like i'm of the culture and this idea of again like blackness and especially black americanness right like lauren hill like you're listening to lauren hill right like who's a black american you're saying the n-word niggas which is an american 
epithet. It's an American slur word. Now I know in all different types of languages and in all different types of slang terminology, there's all different types of words that have the same type of derogatory meaning as nigger, but nigger is a very specific American word with a very specific American history that is utilized in a very specific American context and a very specific black American art form that popularized it, which would be rap and hip hop. So you can't just remove the context from it. I have an old video, very old video, probably about four or five years old now that is you know on the inward specifically and the concept of people have interpersonal relationships with words right you can call your mother mom I can't call your mom mom because she's not my mom she's your mom you have a relationship with her you have a relationship with the word that I do not have it is the same exact thing with black Americans in the inward we have a certain history and context with the word as a racial epithet amongst ourselves if we decide that we want to reclaim the word and use it amongst ourselves that is only on us that is our decision to make nobody else gets to police our language number one and tell us what we can and cannot say because it makes them uncomfortable no you can't do that fuck you I don't give a fuck what makes you uncomfortable you don't get to tell me well if you're gonna say it I should be able to say it no if you're not black so no you can't say it that's it I don't care like and I don't have to police my language to make you comfortable because you feel uncomfortable with the fact that, oh my God, you can't do something, you're gonna fucking keel over and die, right? And just like for, there's other black people that don't like using the word, okay, like I'm not, I can't force anybody to use it, but nobody can tell me to stop using it. And as somebody that has a complex interpersonal relationship with the word, I can damn sure motherfucking gay could, who uses it and who doesn't use it. And again, it's related very specifically to race, right? So, but we have all these people that are really trying to like separate the concept of blackness from race. And the reason why is because the racial element of blackness and the racism that comes with being black, nobody wants to be a part of that, right? Everybody wants to be a part of the cool that comes with being a black American, the culture and the cultural aspect that comes with being a black American, the artistic aspect, the academic aspect, the activist aspect, the political aspect, all of these things that they want to just sort of take and utilize to their own advantage, but everybody wants to separate the racial element of actually being black and dealing with anti-black racism in this country as well as abroad right and then you have people that are rushing to defend it on how it's not a big deal like I bet it's not a fucking big deal to you especially to a bitch like Gina Rodriguez right that fits very neatly within the Eurocentric standard of beauty because she's not a motherfucking black bitch and she don't got to deal with being a motherfucking black bitch like Lauren Hill who was a dark-skinned black bitch with nappy ass natural hair right when she says she gonna give niggas heebie-jeebies it does not mean what you think it means Gina Rodriguez, you do not have the right to say it, and you don't then get to issue some half-assed, half-baked apologies talking about, well, I love the song. Again, I grew up listening to the song. I grew up feeling immersed in the culture, and so I was just singing along with a song that I love. Especially not know, like, Lauren Hill, who, like, again, this is sort of like, like, again, like, you have certain artists like Lauren Hill and, like, Nina Simone, you know, like, artists that, like, their fucking blackness was, like, an integral part of who they were and the art that they were making. And so for a non-black person to even then be like well I just like the song so I should be able to say it. like you're not even relating to what the song is even about you're not even plugged into what the song is even about because you're not black because you think that you can separate again our culture and our politics from our race on some just like I said in my video about about Prince people love saying oh Prince transcended race and he was not about race and he was not about Prince was literally writing a book on race <laughs> like which they released some excerpts from it and a lot of people wanted me to talk about that which is was very hard for me to kind of process but i will try and get a uh, not a review exactly because it wasn't enough to review but i am going to get the book uh, the beautiful ones and i would like to get a review on the book but I, i'll probably also talk about the excerpts that were released but it's like you know people talk about well they love prince so much and like prince transcended race and had nothing to do with race and it's like everything that prince did was about race you want to say you're not, you know, you're, you grew up seeing, you know, black families and urban families and, you know, and seeing black artists like Lauryn Hill and how, since you couldn't, you know, see Latinos, that made you feel so represented. And so you feel like you get a pass into that culture because you're trying to separate the culture from race. You, you know, grow up and you're getting really into the academic works of James Baldwin and Toni Morrison and Zora Neale Hurston and you're getting into the activism of Bayard Rustin and of um, 
Martin Luther King, obviously, that's like an immediate one. But you know, you're getting into the into the work of now. I can't think of her name. The lawyer, I did a hit and figure. Uh, Polly Murray. You know, you're getting into the work of Polly Murray, and you know, you're getting into this work, and then you say, well. I am oppressed kinda like a black person, so I'm politically black. Like, no, it's just like another way of like tapping into some shit that's not yours and wanting to deal with like the beautiful things that come out of blackness without having to deal with like the racial aspects of blackness. You know, you get to like sit, again, Gene Rodriguez specifically or Fat Joe specifically, you know, you get to sit in your, in your box where you're not black, right? You're not white. But you're definitely not black, so you don't have to deal with anti-black racism, right? You can very proudly be a Latina, a Latina, a Latina, or a Latina, or a Latinx, or, you know, any type of non-black person of color, Asian, you know, anything, pick anything you want. You can very, you, you, but you're not black at the end of the day, so you never have to deal with anti-black racism ever. As a non-black person of color, you can absolutely be an anti-black racist, which fucking Gina Rodriguez has shown numerous times now at this point, right? And, but then you can be like, well, but I should have access to black culture because like, it's not really related to race. No, it's it's a lot. It's like wild, political blackness, culturally black, you know, all that stuff. Like, no, black American is its own ethnicity and its own culture, but it's also intrins intrinsically tied to race. It can't be separated. And I'm tired of people thinking that they can like be politically black or culturally black or any of this shit. Like, well, I like it, so I should be able to. No, you cannot. <laughs> no. And especially not her. And any of y'all that fucking watch her shows or her movies or support her in any of her endeavors are... If you're black, you're suffering from internalized anti-blackness. And if you are a non-black person of color or a white person, you are anti-black racist. Point blank, period. Because, like, this bitch is, like, way out of chances. She ran out of chances, like, five mistakes ago. So, that's... That on that. <laughs> um... I don't know if I'm gonna title this video part two, but this is kind of like a, 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 a you know follow-up video about a similar concept to political blackness. So I will include links to that video and other related videos in the description box. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Food for thought as always. See you guys next time. Peace.